Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this tutorial, we're going to look at managing your event and email templates in Adobe Connect. To do that, I've got an Adobe Connect account open here, and I'm going to click on Event Management. There's a new role in Adobe Connect 9 called the Event Administrator, and only administrators, your event administrators, will be able to edit event templates and email templates. Event managers will be able to create events and use those templates, but you will need an event administrator to actually edit or create new templates. Since I am set up as an event administrator, I'm going to click on the event templates tag right here, and you'll notice it brings up a drop down box with all of the different templates that are already loaded on the system. You'll notice all of these templates have the word shared in front of them, and that means that they're in the shared templates folder. They're available to all of the different event managers and event administrators on the system. To edit a template or create a new one, I'm simply going to click on this Edit Template uh, link. That's going to bring me into the editing mode. And I can use this mode not only to edit existing templates, but to manage all of my templates. You'll see that to the left of the template itself, I've got a series of links that are split up into three different sections. Uh, I've got a catalog link. And this will bring up the catalog template. There's only a single catalog template, but I can make any changes to this template I'd like, and it will uh, affect the main event catalog on the system. You can use catalogs, or you can use a, a number of different catalogs uh, with event folders if you're looking to have a catalog that just shows a limited number of events, but there is just a single event catalog. Under Event Templates, I've got two sublinks. I've got a My Templates section. You'll notice for me this is completely blank because I don't have any personal templates. But this would be populated with any templates that I created as private templates, templates that only I've got access to. And then I've also got a Shared Templates directory. And this shows me all of the shared templates, obviously. I can hover over any one of these templates and you'll see that there are four buttons that pop up. I've got a button here to edit this existing template. I can create a copy if I don't want to edit the existing one, but copy it as a starting point. I can delete it altogether if I'd like, or I can rename the template. Before we look at creating a copy and creating new templates, I've also got a fourth section over here for email templates. And this is set up in a similar way to the event templates. I've got a section of private email templates that I've created and only I've got access to. And of course, the shared templates folder that everybody's got access to. You'll notice that there are a number of different templates in this folder, but each one of these templates apply to a different email that can be sent out by the Adobe Connect system. So there's actually only really one template out of the box for each one of the emails. If you're looking to edit that template for all of the different emails, you'll most likely have to create a number of different templates, one for each of the different emails that you're going to be sending out. I'm going to go back to the event template section. Though. I'm going to click on Shared Templates because I want to create a brand new template. I'm going to click on the Create New Template button. And you'll notice I've got the ability first to select a, a base template. So this will copy one of the existing templates. And I can use that as a starting point. I'm just going to select the default template that comes in the system. I've got the ability to make this either a shared template that everybody's got access to or a private template. I'm going to make it a private template and I'll call it Alistair's event template. Once I've got a name, set my access and set a base template to use, I'm going to click the create button and that's going to create the event template for me. Now it's going to show up in the my template section because I made it a private template. So I don't see it here in the shared event section. I do see it in the My Template section. And if I click on My Templates, which will step back, you'll see it right there, Alistair's Event Template. So it's actually ready to use. Because I copied a base template, this is a fully functional template that I can start using. But the reason I made a copy is so that I could make some changes. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this template. And this brings up the CQ5, or Web Experience Management Authoring System. And I can use this to actually make some changes to my template. I can change uh, any of the details on this page. And I do that by using this sidekick over here on the right-hand side that says CQ5 on the top to simply drag and drop these HTML objects onto my event template page. 
This sidekick is actually also split up into a number of different sections. I've got a general section here that contains a number of different HTML objects, things like carousels, which is the uh, dynamic image that moves from image to image, charts, downloadable content, flash content, images, tables, text, uh, video. So very common uh, HTML objects. Down at the bottom, I've got a columns section so that I can actually divide up the page into multiple columns. Here's an example of that down here. This is a two column section. On the left hand side, I've got the event name and details. And on the right hand side, I've got the speaker name and details along with some images. So there's actually quite a bit of column control that you've got. If I click on edit, I can uh, determine how these columns should be divided, change the width of each one of those columns, for example. And I can edit any one of these different tags simply by uh, clicking on the, uh, the object itself uh, and then either double clicking or selecting the edit button. Before I do that, though, I want to show that there is a third section here to the sidekick, and that section is unique to Adobe Connect. It's a custom version of this CQ5 sidekick that contains all of the different event objects that you might want on your microsite, on a registration page. So things like all of your speaker information, their name, their detailed overview, their uh, uh, less detailed overview, um, the event time, the event location, all of the different imagery that you've uploaded as part of the event is all here and ready to be used. Simply drag and drop onto the event template itself. If I want to change the order of any of these, I can. I think you can see this is relatively easy to use. Simply drag and drop content from the sidekick over to your HTML template. When I'm ready to uh, activate these changes, I do want to activate the page or activate the template to have all of these changes take effect. So to do that, I'm going to click on this page icon over here on the sidekick. And you'll notice this has got a number of different options that allow me to edit information about the template itself change the page title, for example, and background, uh, reset the template, or rename it. Uh, but what I'd like to do to activate this is click on the Activate Template button. And this will uh, make sure that the template is now live, is successfully activated, so that I can access it as I'm creating a new event. That's a very quick look at managing and editing templates in Adobe Connect 9. Thanks for your time.